slightly just come around so when you're tying the tail it's actually going to be pointing down cut away or break away the thread now get your deer here your red deer here don't need a lot just this is just a lift but keep the back of the fly up when you've got it when it's fished in the water it keeps stops the tip the back it's sitting down too much this is a short tail now I'm going to stack it Let's into a small hair stacker. Stack on your desk, just line up the points. Just like that. Remove them from the stacker. Length, really not much the shank length, so would be ideal for your tail. I just loose strap on top and then tighten a couple more. Just to make sure it's not going to move. You don't want the tail to roll round the hook shank. You want it to stay in the top. And that's it. Now, what I would do here really is use this as a measure the the, the waist. Trim it to the full length of the body. This is where your thorax is going to start. Is up here. Now it's very easy to tie this down. Just pull it, pull it back. That's a couple. So just trim these away. Just pull it down and then loose turns, run it all the way up to get to that point there. Just take these out, I missed a couple. Just trim it. Now, on the way back down, tie in your rib. This is going to be a bold wire rib. It looks a bit of a mess just now, but what will happen is when I take the thread back down, I'll reduce the bulk of the deer hair all the way down. This one has been loosened, so just break that off, take it out of the way, all the way down till you come to the tail. And then that's you ready for your dub, your dubbing. Now, you can use this as a seals for dye, the medium olive, as I said. You can use synthetic fibre, which is excellent. Nothing wrong with that. Just dub it onto your thread the best way you can. And build up a nice shape into your body. Shape is, I mean, it's quite a big fly, so you want a bit so of a wee bit more dubbing on there just to finish off. Now you're looking at an area at least a third, so you split it into three for the thorax, two thirds of the body, the main part of the body is there, and for the thorax here, what's left. Then sometimes you would probably do is best, some people like to tie in the hackle at the back and wind up. But I'm going to take the hackle down to protect it. Catch it on the top. With the good side of the feather facing yourself. And then just palmer the fly. Take the hackle down. Quite close touching turns. Or close turns, sorry. All the way down to get to the wire. This point here. So just bring the wire across. Catching or tack coming over the hackle. And wind it up. The dyed yellow hackle really boosts the fly. Just put a wee bend into the wire and then secure it down. Take your thread up and back down. Break it off. Best to break it off. Now, what I'm going to do here is just get your velcro to flatten some of the, the hackle or bring it down each side. So the wing sits a wee bit better. And bringing some of the seals fur into the actual hackle itself. Give it a bit more of a body. Then you want to get some of your dyed olive deer here. Just to move it from the skin. Twist. You'll see a lot of fluff there. Just take this fluff away. You don't want that. This is going to cause you problems. Especially when you've got to stack the deer here. Just remove it. And then I've got a bigger stacker here. More here. Tap it on your desk. Till the tips 
all lined up just like that. Hold the points in your finger and thumb. See how it's going to sit. Lengthwise, it could be slightly short of the tail or add the same length. It's up to yourself. It could be that length. Everybody's got their own idea of what they like. You, if they separate it, you could come slightly back, not like the full length, just slightly back. About there is about right. Put that into your finger and thumb. It's important that you keep the wing on the top. Now, you could do a couple of things. What I like to do here is trim the deer hair, full length of the thorax. There. And then come in and really loose turns of thread onto that. Just to keep the, to keep these under control. If you put a lot of pressure up here, they'll splay. And you'll find it much harder to actually tie them down. And then with tight turns, come back up. Don't worry about the, the loose turns of thread. You can cover these up. Just tie over the top. Nice and tight. Always keeping a hold of these ends, the deer here. And make sure, or try and make sure they don't go round the shank of the hook and they stay on top. And there you are. That's your, that's your wing sitting properly. You can lower it slightly by just pressing on the top and bringing the wing down. Now, for we added traction to the fly, and again, giving it an impression of one or two other flies, and this could be like a small grasshopper, put some hopper legs on, and this here is some pheasant tail with knots at the end. All I do is fill practically the, just slightly longer than or just by the tail length. There's, there's three here, double knotted. There's two peasant tail fibres knotted together and three legs. I'm going to put three legs each side. Quite easy, just hold it on the side. Three or four wraps of the, the thread will hold the legs in place for you. Trim away the waist. Get another sets the legs and do the same on the other side. Off it to the side, swap his finger on the side, two turns over and then trim away. Then quickly take up your thread, tidying up. You must tidy up. Say it all the time but you must do that. Now for the front hackle I'm going to use the dark olive uh, grizzle hackle dyed. Again, don't have the fibres too long. Just suits the style of the fly. Just tie it on the side with the good side of the feather facing yourself. Nice and tight. And get some of the orange seals fur or the blend, which I've got seals fur and some orange light bright. And just dub it onto your thread. Nice and tight. And then just form a thorax using the dubbing. Now, we tip to try and cause the wing to sit a wee bit lower. You can actually slightly come over a, a kind of loose turn of the dubbing, just slightly onto the wing, which will bring it down a wee bit. And then carry on building up your thorax. Just need a wee bit more dubbing. Just add it on. and tight. That's it. Let's come down a wee bit. I'm going to go back, tighten it up a wee bit. If you feel you've made a mistake or you don't, you're not happy with something, always go back. Much easier to do that than say I don't like that fly because I didn't take the time to do that. Then get your grizzle hackle and then really palmer the body itself. Just run the hackle up the thorax. Probably around about four to five turns, then simply across your thread, a good four or five turns of the thread to lock it in. And then what I do is simply to pull back, lock it back, tuck it back, turns of thread back down the, the head, then keeping the thread tight, simply let it finish. Trim away your thread, trim away your hackle. And all you have to do now is to varnish. Mm -hmm.